Hey everyone, this is Gleb Bakhmutov and today I want to show a trick that I use in Copilot in VS Code and at github.com to improve the testability of front-end source code. So in this app I have a very simple page and all that page does, it shows an element and initially it has nothing, but the username has an ID and we use that ID to replace the inner text of this element with John Doe. So we say hello John Doe. And I have a Cypress spec that visits the page and it checks if there is a div with hello John Doe. Now obviously that's not a great selector. We would like to use dedicated test IDs for values like the username. In general, I think everything that has unique data shown on a page should have a test ID attribute. I even wrote a blog post on how I add data test IDs and why it's important and so on. So if we go back to the source code or pretend source code, we would like to have data test ID on this element that shows the username. So here's what we can do to make sure that we check all the source code. Now because I'm using GitHub Copilot, I wrote Copilot instructions file. It's a simple markdown and it's different from using a linter like ESLint because I can express what I want using free, you know, free flowing English language rather than trying to hard code to find the exact uh, rule that checks things. Um, so I can say something when performing a code review, confirm that there are no hard coded magic numbers, prefer using name constant. Now this could be probably done using ESLint, but it's so much easier to just express it in English. Specifically for data test IDs, I wrote when performing a code review, check each HTML element that shows any unique application data like prices, values, names, address to have a data test ID. If the attribute is missing, add the data test ID attribute with meaningful value and ensure that there is attribute for the top level forms, pages, large components. Okay, so these are my Copilot instructions. And if I work locally, I can ask Copilot to review the code in this repo as of doing a pull request review. Now, my Copilot uh, has access to the workspace and it checks all the files. And notice it um, no, notice right away that there is missing data test ID attribute for the span with ID username and it suggests adding one. And um, the data test ID suggests is username, not surprisingly. It also suggests uh, data test IDs for the page itself and for the heading. Great. Uh, it's my decision if I want to add all those test IDs, but I definitely want to add one for the username. So I don't want to review the whole source code every time I'm using Copilot. Instead, I probably want to concentrate on uh, the changes. So if I modify the index HTML, for example, maybe I'll just, let's say, insert a blank line and I'll open, let's say, PR example and I'll say, added a blank line. I'll push it to the remote repo. And this repository is my Mercari um, organization and it has Copilot reviews uh, set up already, so I can request a review by Copilot agent. Now this will look at the changed files, but it will look the Copilot instructions that the repo has. Let's see what it suggests. Okay, so Copilot just finished. It summarized uh, the change in HTML file and it looked at index.html and says add a data test ID attribute for the top level element. Perfect. So it follows my copilot instructions pretty uh, strictly, I want to say, right? It understands what I want to do. And it says add the data test ID attribute to the element to support end to end tests and suggest data test ID username span. Now, I definitely don't want to put the span in the test ID, but I probably will consider the data test ID username. Pretty good suggestions. So again, if you want to review your code, and set up policies that are meaningful, 
Like having a data test ID is for front end components that show actual data so that you can easily verify those values. You can set up Copilot instructions file and use it both locally in VS Code and when Copilot agent at github.com is reviewing a pull request.